Hello, this is Matt and Ben with Linux Academy. We are reporting back from day one of the Google Cloud Next 2018 conference. And uh, it was a pretty fun day overall. And what we're going to do is we're going to give our thoughts on really some of the big tentpole announcements given for the day one keynote. So Ben, what did you think about some of the announcements today? I was excited to see a lot of the Kubernetes stuff. <clears throat> it's no surprise that Google is pushing Kubernetes um, alongside the open source community. But it's exciting to see that they're not just working on uh, Kubernetes engine, but helping on-prem environments use the same tools so that they can work with the same one set of tools and uh, not have to relearn the tooling in every single environment. Mm -hmm. I was especially impressed, or I really just kind of noticed an overall theme where they're really pushing open source and they're really pushing the, really if you're, even if you're not completely all in with Google Cloud, we still have a solution for you. Uh, like with some of the solutions such as Kubernetes Engine on-premise, in which you can mix a Google Cloud-based Kubernetes Engine environment seamlessly with the on-premise solution as well. Yeah, that was exciting to see. They took uh, a server on stage, and then they actually deployed Kubernetes to that and ran that inside of Kubernetes Engine. That's, that's really cool. That's, that's pretty dang impressive. Yeah. So moving on, one of the other really big tentpole announcements was really the expansion of the AutoML service, which I believe is still currently in beta. It's kind of one of those things that's really slowly expanding out. But it really, I think you'd agree that really the main perk of it is that without AutoML, you basically have some of the predefined machine learning APIs where you, know, you have vision, natural language, etc. But if you need like a more customized use case, you need to use the cloud machine learning engine service, which is great from a managed TensorFlow perspective, but you have to program it yourself, which requires, you know, some sort of data scientist or programming knowledge, which, you know, not everyone has access to that. Yeah. I, I was impressed to see kind of a codeless machine learning system that is based on their existing technologies, which are already very good. Uh, the demo was really cool. They took the uh, some plant images that were already uh, classified and they used that to train the model and it did a really good job. I think it was like a 97, 96% accuracy. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, do you remember the, the company that they used the use case for? I think that was eBay, where another one of the new auto ML features was uh, natural language parsing and also translation, where I think kind of the short version was is it helped customers not have to go through a phone tree, and it gave them really a lot more customized direct agent access based on some of their previous interactions. Very cool. Yeah. So it would definitely uh, be a definite real good end result for the end consumer. Finally, not really so much specific to Google Cloud itself, but really a lot of big G Suite news, which is still technically Google Cloud, but more from the software as a service side. Yeah. And I come from a G Suite background, so I get really excited about some of this stuff. There were some pretty cool announcements there as well. Uh, I was impressed. Some of the auto-completion stuff was really cool, especially like in email auto-complete that learns as you go. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? I like the idea that Exactly as you said, that not only does it give you know generic responses as you tab your way through, yep. but it's customized based on your previous email interactions. So it's smart replies based to your specific taste, not just generalized for everyone else, which I think is pretty dang impressive from a machine learning standpoint. Yeah. The other two announcements that I'm also really excited about from the G Suite side is the expansion of natural language parsing inside of Google Sheets which means that you can just type in, hey, find averages of this chart without having to memorize the actual Excel or Sheets formula itself, which again makes it more accessible to the masses. And the last G Suite feature I'm really excited about is the automatic grammar checking in Google Docs. So even if your grammar is nearly as bad as mine, it can make you look pretty smart and fix a lot of those mistakes before it gets out to everyone else. Yeah, I thought that was cool. Uh, in the presentation they talked about it's not a rules base, it basically translates, it's like Google Translate, only it translates bad English into good English. Mm -hmm. And that seems to be more scalable. Now, I don't know the mechanics behind it, but it seems pretty cool. It almost seems to be a combination of the Translate API and the Natural Language API, as you mentioned, yeah. uh, that basically take what's typically translating from languages, but just translates English into better English, for lack of a better term. Yeah. It makes you sound a lot possibly smarter than you actually are. Yeah, uh, I think if I ran half of my thoughts through that. I, I might sound smarter all the time, so maybe I'll start doing that. <laughs> Very good. So that really wraps up the primary keynote announcements today. Now there is going to be another keynote tomorrow morning as well, 
in which more new products, services, and announcements are made then. So be sure to tune back here for tomorrow's episode in which we discuss what's new in Google Cloud tomorrow as well. And we hope to see you then.